Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today, what we are going to see is how exactly we can use Ableton secret plugins to match our scale, the input scale, to the exact relatable scale that as we want. As well as what we are going to see that how exactly we can just tap on one key and get our own chords by using Ableton secret plugin or scale plugin. So just check it out. So we do have a built-in Live 10 and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some secrets of Ableton like how exactly we can input any key and we'll have the exact scale as we want or any of the key and relatable chord as we want. So first thing what we are going to do is we are going to search a scale monitor okay so a MIDI monitor that you can say so you can just go ahead and check for MIDI monitor and just drag and drop over here. We can just rename it and just you can just write it down over here as before. Okay, so before means before the transition like whatever key that we are pushing. So before the transition it will it is going to show us like which key exactly that we have pushed. So right now it is A that I have tapped on. Okay, so next again we need a MIDI monitor. It will, uh, we will rename it as after. So it will show us after. Okay, after the transition. Now what I am going to do is I am going to add a scale over here. Okay. So what we want is like okay uh, a scale. Uh, let's let's delete it and let's find out which scale that we have. So these are the scale uh, we do have. So I'm going to find out a C minor one. Okay, so I'm going to take a C minor one over here. Yeah. So any of the keys, like you push any of the key in in in, uh, in the transition mode, it will just going to processed by this scale. And then after it's going to show us in this MIDI monitor like after how exactly it has been transitioned. So now uh, there is no, if there's any key which does not belong to the C minor scale, the C minor scale uh, plugin, what it's going to the the stock plugin, what it's going to do is it's going to select a relatable uh, scale, a relatable key or a tone uh, which is nearby to the uh, tone that we have selected and it's going to show it over here. So if I choose D, so it's going to show, uh, sorry, uh, if I'm, I'm going to sh D sharp, it's going to show D sharp, but if I'm going to go for D, uh, I'm sorry, E, so it's going to show the relatable uh, key that is D flat. Okay, so there is no uh, E key in the C minor scale. So if you see the before it is E but the transition it, it has selected E flat which is relatable to the C minor scale so now what I'm going to do I'm going to add a chord over here so I'm going to add a chord over here what it's going to do is going to check any input from the MIDI it's going to monitor it and then it's going to add a relatable chord. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a third tone and a seventh tone or a semitone. Okay. So if I'm going to add any key which is relatable to C minor scale or any key which is not relatable to C minor scale, it's going to map to this VST plugin, uh, to this uh, this secret plugin, and then after it's going to show us like which exact uh, relatable chord uh, it's going to be there for this key that I have pressed. So let's try with C. So it is C minor chord that we have got. Okay, then after let's see D. So we have got D diminished chord. So every chord that you 
are willing to work with is going to show you over here let's see Nisha. we have got e flat suspended chord over here we got f minor we got g minor we got a major we got B suspended and C minor. If I press any of the key which doesn't belong to C a minor scale, so what is going to happen? Let's see. So it shows A, B, a major. So I have pushed C sharp, but now it's showing me a A, B major chord. So this is how it, it, it transitions. You can select any key, you can select a bass, like if I take from C minor, I will take it to uh, A major, okay, you can name it as A major and then after let's see what happens. Okay, so C uh, major scale is relatable or equivalent to A minor scale, so let's see how it happens. Okay, so I have tapped on C tone and I am getting here a C suspended chord okay so E E minor chord D minor chord F suspended chord G suspended chord okay any any of the keys which doesn't belong that is a semitone key which doesn't belong to the A minor scale so what happens let's see so definitely here it is D sharp that I have pushed and the result that we are getting is D minor is the reason because D, D tone is relatable or, or nearby not relatable but it is nearby the D sharp so that is the reason it has selected the D minor scale and D minor tone okay uh, the chord that we can say okay so this is how what you can do is you can map your tune or you can map any of your incoming MIDI um, monitor it and then after what you want is you just need to add a chord and a scale so that you could get a relatable chord to to or uh, to fix your song uh, any of the vocal or anything if you want to have uh, a melody from your vocal you can just get it in Ableton it's very easy I'm going to show it in the next video but yes this is how you would be able to get any of the scale or any of the melody and you can convert it in your expecting chords in Ableton Lifetime so that's it thank you very much see you in the next video